All right, I'm Sergeant Barbary here at the Remy School, and I'm going to show you how the junkyard dog works. So if you'll just come on closer here, I'll show you here. So this here is our siege weapon, or our death machine, if you will. I had a personal hand in this. It's my favorite part. This is our sighting system on it here. So we've got some gears here, and they run through a hole there. So once we've lined up, all we do is we look through it, get a rough, a rough eye on what we're aiming at, and then we send it. That's all you gotta do. This part here is the trebuchet. Right now it's unarmed, there's no weight on it. But once we get weight on it, it'll send rocks right near your neighbor's yard. Just like the artillery pieces, once it's armed, we have our release pin, you pull it. Once it fires, counterbalances and everything shoots up. The frame of this is an old Eltis, which is no longer in service, but still fun to have. We've got our solar panel that charges our batteries here during the daytime, so we can use this thing at night. On the side here, we have our side access panel for getting in to the seats for the bicycles. Not the most practical, but it gets the job done. Down here, you see how we have our transmission lines up here. So we've got our diff here, which drives our back axles, running to sprockets, which is direct drive, right down to this shaft. So as the three people pedal, this bike moves. This whole machine moves. It's just like a fixie bicycle, so if you stop pedaling, you stop moving. On the front here, we have the person that steers. So when you're steering this thing, it's basically just like steering a big boat. You pull one way, the wheels go this way. Push the other way, the wheels go that way. It works a little better when we're moving. You can get a little bit more range out of it. But still, this thing has a turning radius of a small aircraft. We have our seat belt here. Because safety is paramount when working with death machines. Clips in, clips out. We got our horn for making noise, and man, does it howl. Gotta love that. And that's more or less the function of it. Three people are pedaling, the guy at the front is steering, and we got one extra guy there on the back that's got his foot on the wheel for those extra tough spots. We need a little extra torque to get moving or stopping. And that's it, that's how this machine works, and it works great.